Automotive headlight reflectors are crucial components in vehicle lighting systems. They reflect light onto the road, enhancing visibility and safety. But how exactly are these highlight reflectors made? And how do they become so effective at reflecting light? Hey, what's up? This is Sarah. Today, I'm going to walk you through the fascinating world of vacuum metallizing and get you to understand the secret of automotive highlight reflectors. Okay, then what is vacuum metallizing? And how does it relate to automotive highlight reflectors? Vacuum metallizing is a physical vapor deposition process where parts are placed in a vacuum chamber where a coating material is heated. This coating material is turned into a vapor or plasma through evaporation or sputtering and then condenses on the surface of the parts, depositing a metal or non-metal film. So, you could also call it a PVD coating finish. The materials that can be PVD coated are diverse, including metals, alloys, plastics, ceramics, and others. For example, in automotive headlight reflectors, an aluminum metal film is deposited onto a plastic part. The result is a light white reflector that meets the lighting requirements of automobiles and provides excellent illumination. Well, actually, many products you have seen that look metallic are made of plastic thanks to PVD coating. Beyond the automotive industry, PVD coating is widely used in various fields. In the optical industry, it improves optical performance and anti-reflection properties. In the decorative and jewelry industry, it creates shiny, metallic-looking items. Moreover, in electronics, it improves the conductivity and the corrosion resistance of components such as resistors and capacitors. Now, let's explore the advantages of PVD coating compared to electroplating and why it's popular in the automotive industry. Firstly, PVD coating has a wide application range. It can apply various types of inorganic and some organic coating materials to different substrates and surfaces, enabling diverse surface treatments. In the automotive industry, this means that plastic parts can be given a metallic appearance, meeting the industry's lightweight requirements. Secondly, PVD coating can produce a richer variety of colors compared with electroplating, supporting product innovation. Besides, PVD coatings are often harder and more corrosion resistant than those produced by electroplating. These coatings are highly durable, offering excellent wear resistance and high temperature performance. Additionally, the PVD process is generally more environmentally friendly than traditional coating methods like electroplating and painting. However, it's important to know that PVD coating may not fully cover parts with complex geometries as it only costs exposed surfaces. If you are not sure whether your project can use PVD coating, please contact us. Our professional engineering team can provide expert assistance and cost-effective solutions for your project. Alright, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!